are a donkey. <laughs> it's time for Donkey of the Day. Donkey of the Day does not discriminate. I might not have the song of the day, but I got the donkey of the day. So if you ever feel I need to be a donkey, <laughs> man, hit me with the heat. Uh, yes, it's the Breakfast Club, bitches. Who's Donkey of the Day today? Yes, Donkey of the Day for Tuesday, December 5th goes to Roman Pierce from The Fast and Furious. Joseph Jody Summers from Baby Boy. Black Tie, the rapper. Mm. Tyrese Gibson. I've been sparing Tyrese only because even though I feel like he's full of feces, I wasn't sure what it was he was going through, okay? When he was crying online about his daughter, I had no problem with that. I'm a father. He's a father. Kids need both their parents, period. Okay, when he was online crying about The Rock doing the spinoff to The Fast and Furious, I thought that was extremely lame. But I told him that via a group chat. Yes, Tyrese, DJ, NB, and I had a group chat that I no longer <laughs> participate in, okay? Because I'm allergic to lameness, all right? When he was crying broke... I didn't feel sorry for him uh, because he's made millions of dollars in the film world. He has a mansion in L.A. and, and Atlanta. In L.A., he's got a Benny Hanna's in his backyard, a Starbucks, a club. In Atlanta, he's got life-size Transformers all over the place. Okay, if you have all that going on, instead of crying, bro instead of crying broke and lying about Will and Jada giving you money and posting links on your Facebook for people to donate, how about you sell some of that stuff? Open up the Benny Hanna's for lunch. Open up the Starbucks for the holidays. Serve eggnog lattes, okay? Do something, anything, except cry online about another man, The Rock, keeping you from being able to pay your bills. I was avoiding giving Tyrese Donkey of the Day for all of that because I truly didn't know what he was going through, all right? He recently blamed his meltdown on some type of depression medication. Uh, look, whatever. I don't know if he's lying about that or not. I don't know. But if I had to diagnose Tyrese, I would say that he suffers from a very common case of being full of feces. All right, and not being able to get out of his own way. See, Tyrese blamed his lies and meltdown on depression medication, but just last week, he told another lie. When he got on Instagram and posted that a Four Brothers sequel was being released and that it was all over the internet, he even posted an article from 2010 to prove his point. Now, that sequel may be happening, but I'm only going to believe it when I hear it from someone other than Tyrese. Because if that movie did get the green light, why is Black Tie the only person talking about it? And why is he posting articles from 2010 to try to prove his point? See, that Negro Tyrese loves attention. He craves it. He courts it at all costs. But the reason he's getting donkey today today is because it is time for us to collectively come together and mute Tyrese for the culture. All right, we have to mute Tyrese and block him from our lives in order to save him from himself. Because the more attention we give Tyrese, the more he will seek attention and do things for attention. The more attention we give Tyrese, the more he will talk. He's one of those Negroes that loves to hear himself speak. But yesterday, yesterday, he was on the radio in Atlanta speaking on his ex-wife, Norma Gibson. And maybe Tyrese don't know, don't show, or simply doesn't care about incriminating himself. Because Tyrese Gibson, dumbass, admitted the marriage fraud. Let's hear it. Norma, I love you. I appreciate you. I appreciate what we did. We had an angel. But I married you to keep you in the country. I never married you because I was happily married. You're from London. I married you because we had a baby on the way, and I had to do whatever I had to do so that I'm not traveling all the way to London just to spend quality time with my baby. So now you're running around painting this picture like we was da 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 Like, bro, we got married, and it was like seven people there. Like, I am the most flashiest, flamboyant dude other than Floyd Mayweather. I am the flashiest. <laughs> There's nothing about me that's low-key and quiet. You know that I married her to keep her in the country. Go I'm giving y'all the raw scoop. Tyrese Gibson, shut the F up forever. You got on national radio and admitted to marriage fraud. Never mind the fact your daughter going to see that one day. Hey, that's cool. You got to live your truth, but you talk too damn much. If you love your family the way you claim to do, why put yourself in a position to break your family apart? Now, do I respect the fact you said, you know what, I'm going to marry this woman because I love my daughter this much and I want her to have both parents? But Yeah, but keep that to yourself. All right, do you realize that if you are charged with marriage fraud, you could be charged with visa fraud, harboring an alien, conspiracy, and making false statements? Each charge carries prison sentences and financial penalties? You don't need no financial penalties, okay? You're broke. That's penalties, right? penalties, bro. What'd I say? Penalties. Well, you know what I meant, all right? <laughs> marriage fraud is when an individual will be charged with marriage fraud, okay? Marriage fraud is if they entered into a marriage for the purpose of evading U.S. immigration laws. People do it all the time, but they don't get on public forums and announce it to the world, all right? Tyrese, you know better than that. You, you, you know better than these young boys running around flashing all their guns and drugs online, incriminating themselves. You look just as foolish as them. You causing all kinds of legal problems on yourself and for what? Who are you trying to prove something to? As if people are sitting around wondering, what is going on with you and your ex-wife? We wouldn't know any of this if you didn't get online telling us every damn day. You stood on the radio yesterday in a tuxedo. 
looking like Tyrese Gibson snitching on Black Tie for doing something illegal. Now, I don't know if your baby mama is here or not, but if you indeed committed marriage fraud, do you know she can be deported? And her current visa, if and if she got one, can be revoked. And potential marriage fraud would destroy her future eligibility for a U.S. visa or a green card. I don't know if your baby mama ex-wife is in this country or not, but why even put her in the possible position to be investigated and deported? Why put yourself in a position to be arrested for marriage fraud? Play, play the clip again, please. Play this, play this incriminating clip mm -hmm. one more time, please. Norma, I love you. I appreciate you. I appreciate what we did. We had an angel. But I married you to keep you in the country. I never married you because I was happily married. You're from London. I married you because we had a baby on the way, and I had to do whatever I had to do so that I'm not traveling all the way to London just to spend quality time with my baby. So now you're running around painting this picture like we was da 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 da. Like, bro, we got married, and it was like seven people there. Like, I am the most flashiest, flamboyant dude other than Floyd Mayweather. I am the flashiest. <laughs> There's nothing about me that's low-key and quiet. You know that I married her to keep her in the country. Go I'm giving y'all the raw scoop. Tyrese Gibson, I ain't even here to make jokes with you. All right, you need to learn to get out your own way. You the type to stand in your own shadow and wonder why it's dark. All right? What you need to do is stop making announcements. She's not a church leader. You don't have to make announcements every week. Everything doesn't need to be talked about, especially crimes that could really tear your family apart forever. All right, Tyrese, you are the prime example of talk much and they think you're a fool. Be silent and they become curious. Try being silent. And maybe people will start becoming curious about something other than your mental meltdowns, all right? We're not going to be curious about no movies. We won't be curious about no music because you keep talking too much, reminding us that you are indeed a devil damn fool. Please give Tyrese Gibson the biggest hee-haw, please. Hee-haw, hee-haw, you stupid mother are you? Dumb. Now, where did Remy come from? Wow. Hell? Jesus Christ. That's Jeez. a very where aggressive hee haw. That where was aggressive. Come from? Is <laughs> Damn, wow. Remy. Listen, if y'all love Tyrese like y'all say y'all love Tyrese, go to his IG page and block him. He don't need no attention because the attention is going to be the death of him and we need to save him from himself. All right? Or we can just go have a petty party. Go to Tyrese's page and put the donkey emoji all under his pictures. Or better yet, put the police siren all under his pictures since he want to throw bat signals in the sky for the people to come pick him up for admitting to being a part of a marriage fraud. Now, which one you want us to do? The donkey what? or the police siren? Do it. Just go. Just go. Just have a big old petty party. What I really want y'all to do is block him. Seriously. The attention is going to kill him. Save him from himself. My goodness. Seriously, save him from himself.